First Chronicles. Mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza. Chapter 12. Sura ya 12. And we'll read the verse 32. Na tutasoma aya ya 32. I want the brother to lead the direct in his Swahili. Nitamomba ndugu asome moja kwa moja kwa Kiswahili. You can start from uh, so that you get the full context from 28. Let's go to chapter 4. Let's go from 28 to 32 so that we get the full context. First Chronicles, verse 28 to 32. Tena Sadoki, kijana shujaa na wajumba ya babae, makida ishirini na wawili. Na wana wa benyamini, nuguze sauli, alafu tatu. Kwani hata sasa walio wengi wao walikuwa wamehifadhi uaminifu wao kwa nyumba ya Sauli. Na wana na wawana wa Ephraim 20400 waume mashujaa watu wenye sifa katika mbali za baba zao. Na wanusu kabila ya Manase 18000 waliotajwa majina yao ili waje kumtawaza Daudi awe mfalme. Na wawana wa Isakari Watu wenye akili za kujua nyakati kuyajua ya, ya wapasayo Israeli wayatende vichwa vyao walikuwa watu miambili na ndugu zao wote walikuwa chini ya amri yao May the Lord add the blessing to you the word Bwana naongeze baraka kwa Yesu Mungu I want to pray before we proceed with the word of God Nataka kuomba kabla ya endelea na neno la Mungu Pastor Arnold, Mtamumba Dugu Anod Aombe, Wakati Nadea Nelamu. Let us bow our heads. In Penzi, Baba Yetu, the Lord Jesus Christ. People in Zako Mali, Hapa Tina Yoli, and Lea. Ungeweza kutumia jua Ungeweza kutumia upepo Ungeweza kutumia chochote kia Lakini chabua manadamu wa seme na manadamu Amina Na hilo nimekua jambo kuu Na unu sana Manadamu kukusikia wewe Kwa kuwa manadamu Hamuamini manadamu wazaki Tunyalie tuvuke hilo pazia Tuweze kukusikia wewe Kisema nasi Kupitia kwa manadamu mwengine Mwenzetu wa hii kama sisi Hebu jioni ya leo shuka ukasele nasi baba Pake mafuta mtuwishu wako Na unene nasi kwa hakika Tuko hapa tukikusikia Zuia Safisha njia baba Onua pazia ambalo waduya meweka katika mioe yetu Hapalo nilaweza kuzuia ilo neno nisifike katika nafsi zetu Na jiacheni kono ni mwako Tunaomba rehema mahali popote ya papo kuna chuchote Kwaweza kuzuia Uwepo wako maari hapa Uwepo wako wa silenzi nene na nafsi zetu Tazama kalubari yone damu yako Ustutazame sisi yone damu yako Na usemenasi Tonya wagonjwa Ufungue kila mmoja Unishida za kiroho na za kimwili Kupitia kinwa chagugu yetu wa thamani Unene uweba Na umba katika jima kusu kristo Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Nenza mkaketi Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I proceed, I proceed. Allow me to take this opportunity once again to appreciate the servant of God here. The Lord has caused us to cause us. May the Lord God bless him. Na Mungu ambariki. Amina. May the grace of God increase upon his life. May the grace of God increase upon his life. Na neema ya Mungu iongezeke maishani mwake. Because without him, kwa sababu pasipo yeye, we cannot be here. Atuwezi kuwa hapa. Also I want to appreciate. Pia nataka kumshukuru all the brothers and sisters behind him. 
Nataka kuwashukuru ndugu ndugu wote na dada wote walio nyuma yake. Kwa sababu kama angekuwa nyewe peke yake, cannot organize this meeting. Hangeweza kuandaa mtano huu. So behind him there are people that are backing him. Kwa nyuma yake kuna watu wanaomunga mkono. And I want to encourage you brothers and sisters. Na nataka kuatia moyo ndugu na dada. Continue holding the hands of Moses up. Endeleeni kuchukulia mikono ya Musa ikae juu. If we can continue overcoming the enemy. Kama tunatarajia kuendelea kumshinda adui. Because as a church, kwa sababu kama kanisa, we are at war. Tuko vitani. Do you know that? We are at war. Tuko vitani. This is why sometimes I laugh at people. Ndiyo mana bara nyingine na wacheka watu. Especially the religious people. Ma asa asa watu wakidimi. They say no God doesn't kill. Wana sema hapana mungu haui. No God doesn't hurt. Mungu hachuki. Then they don't believe in the Bible. Basi hawaamini Biblia. The same God who love Mungu yule ule anayependa the same God who can hate. Ndio Mungu huyu anaweza kuchukia. Because I've learned in his word. Sababu nimesoma kwenye Biblia. He said it's how I hate. Anaposema it's how I hate. Namchukia Esau. Jacob I love. Na ninampenda Yakobo. And that was God. Na huyu alikuwa ni Mungu. Who say Alikuwa akisema Esau I hate. Namchukia Esau. The same God that love. Kwa hiyo Mungu yule yule anayependa. The same God that hates. Ndio Mungu huyo huyo anayechukia. But it will be the blessed thing for you and me. Lakini itakuwa ni jambo la baraka kwa wako na kwa. Kupendwa na yeye. Amen. Amen. The same God who give life. Mungu yule atwaye uzima. Is the same God who kill. Ndiye Mungu anayeua. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet told me. Nabii amenifundisha Amali nifundisha kwamba the old testament agano la kale is a type of the new testament ni mfano wa agano jipya the israel wa israel as a nation kama taifa is a type of the bright church ni mfano wa kanisa biblia how god dealt with the children of israel jinsi mungu aliwashughulika na wana wa israel Egypt to the promised land kutoka pale eh, misri mpaka nchi ya ali the prophet preached this message ndio wana nabii alihubiri ujumbe israel in Egypt israel wakiwa misri israel in the wilderness israel wakiwa jangwani and israel in the promised land na israel wakiwa kwenye nchi ya ahadi amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How God walked and dealt with the children of Israel. Jinsi ambavyo Mungu alitembea na kushughulika na wana wa Israeli. The same way God is dealing with the church of Christ. Ni namna ile ile Mungu anashughulika na kanisa la Kristo. Though he dealt with the Israel in a physical. Ingawa alishughulika nao katika namna ya mali. He's dealing with the church spiritually. Lakini anashughulika na kanisa kiroho. The same battles. Vita zile zinazopiga wale wale ambao Mungu alipigana from Egypt kule Misri up to the promised land kutoka Misri hata nchi ya Ahadi now he's still fighting mpaka sasa angalia akipigana je unajua hii he's still fighting Mungu angalia anapigana the one that you see in the middle is uvita mnazoziona huko mashariki ya kati political war sio vita za kisiasa it's the war of god ni vita ya Mungu the bible says Jerusalem shall be a stumbling block to the old world Biblia inasema Israeli au ni Yerusalemu shall be the stumbling block to the world. Biblia inasema Yerusalemu itakuwa jiwe la kukwaza kwa ulimwengu wote. And you know sometimes I cry and laugh at people when they are saying. Na unajua mara nyingine nacheka na kulia kwa watu wote wanaposema. The war between the Israel and the Palestine. Hiyo vita kati ya wa Palestina na Israeli kusimama. An anti-Christ. Utakuwa ni mpiga Kristo. Stop if you've been praying that. Kama ulikuwa ukiomba hilo jambo huko. To pray the war in Israel to stop kuomba kwa baile vita kwa Israeli simame to be an anti-Christ unakuwa mpiga Kristo amen you don't want to be an anti-Christ unataka niwe to be an anti-Christ jee unataka kuwa mpiga Kristo to be a galaxy Christ ah unajua nini kuwa mpiga Kristo ni kuwa vini ya Kristo and who is the Christ is the word of God nene ono mungu in the beginning was the word kama wanda kukuwa kwa nene and the word was with God na nene ono kwa nene and the word was God na neno neno kwa Mungu alikuwa ni Mungu. God down there to fill the 14. Na unaposhika chini kwenye msela mmoja. Aswa lele ndio. Nikafanyika mwili. Amen. So when you become against the word of God. Kwa hiyo unapokuwa kinyume cha Mungu. Wewe ni mpiga Kristo. Because the walls of Israel. Sababu vita za Israel. The Jews and the Arabic people. Kati ya Wayahudi na wa not the Arabic. 
sio vita ya kisiasa a human war sio vita ya mwanadamu a divine war ni vita ya kiu because god told joshua kwa sababu mungu aliwaambia yosua spare this nation kwa sababu umewaacha umeleta hiyo hii When Joshua, kwa sababu Yoshua was possessing that land. Alipokuwa akiamiliki ile nchi, the Philistines came to him and deceived him. Wafilisti walimjia na kumrubani. Said we are also strangers. Wakamwambia si pia ni wageni hapa. Come to the mbali nchi za mbali. Let's join hard. Kwa hiyo tuungane. We saw the nature of the land. Ili tu tuangamize wenyeji wa hapa. They entered into a covenant. Na wakaingia kwenye agano. Let me tell you my brother my sister. Sasa nikwambie ndugu yangu dada yangu. When you make a covenant. Unapoweka agano hiyo kimakosa ni to buy litadumu sure amen amen before you know it kabla hujajua amen that's why everything what you want to do ndio na kila kitu unataka kufanya consult god mtaka shauri mungu what was was supposed to do yesu alikuwa anafanya nini when these people come to him wakati hao watu walipomjua was supposed to consult god alipaswa amshirikishe mungu no one can deceive god kwa sababu hakuna aweze kumdanganya mungu you can deceive me unaweza ukandanganya i can deceive you naweza nikakudanganya wewe but i cannot deceive god lakini siwezi kumdanganya mungu and you cannot deceive god hata wewe huwezi kumdanganya mungu amen because just was a man kwa sababu yesu alikuwa ni mwanadamu was deceived alidanganywa and he spared that nation. He spared that nation. Na akaliacha ile taifa. Na mpaka leo they are a thorn to Israel. Ile taifa ni mwiba kwa Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second thing that you are passing through my sister my brother. Mambo fulani yanayopitia ndugu yangu dada yangu. No matter how much we may pray. Haidhuru ni kiasi gani tutaomba. If it came kama ilikuja. By your disobedience. Kwa kutokutii kwako. God will never remove it from there. Mungu hata liondoa hapo. It will be there as a thorn. Nitabaki hapo kama mwiba. Hampaka utaenda mbinguni. Hata hivyo utaenda mbinguni. What what? That problem. Lakini ile tatizo. God will never remove it. Mungu hata aliondoa mpaka unaenda mbinguni. It stick to you. Litakutakaa kwa in your life. Kama mwiba maisha ni mwako. Oh my. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh my. Oh jamai. What am I saying? Nasema nini? Brothers and sisters, ndugu na dada, those who are praying to mali, wale ambao wanatarajia kuoa, wana mipango ya kuoa, mtake shauri Mungu. Once you enter into that covenant, unapoingia kwenye ile agano, your wife or your husband, mumeo au mkeo, who be a thorn to you, atakuwa ni mwiba kwako. Whether you like it or not, ama unapenda au upendi. If you make a wrong choice, kama utafanya uchaguzi sio sahihi, you die with it. Utakufa nalo. Yes, yeah. So consult God. Kwa hiyo mtake shauri Mungu. Before you enter into a covenant. Kabla hujaingia kwenye maagano. Once you make a covenant. Unapoingia kwenye agano, God will honor it. Mungu analiheshimu. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I saying? Niko nasema nini? I was saying. Na singesema, keep on supporting the man of God. Endeleeni kumuunga mkono mtumishi wa Mungu. Like Aaron, kama vile Haruni. And, uh, and, and, uh, na mimi, hai, ha, hai. Hai. Yes. The one was with the Baron to call. Ah, waksele na mtani. Wale waliokuwa wakimshika Haruni alikuwa na mwingine mmoja Haruni walikuwa kimshika. Ah, na Uri, Haruni na Uri. 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 Holding the hand of the servant of God. Shikieni mikono ya mtumishi wa Mungu. So that the church. Ili kwa makanisa can keep on. Linaweza likaenda kusonga mbele na kudumu kushinda. That's why we came to over Jaire. Ndio maana alifanyika Yehova yile. Because somebody was there interceding. Kwa sababu kuna mtu fulani alikuwa hapa na juu akipatanisha. When he got tired, na alipochoka, he brought down the hands. Akashusha mikono, mikono. The Israel are being being defeated. Ndio unaona Israeli wakaanza kushinda. But when the hands up, lakini wakati mikono ikiwa juu, the Israel were being uh, uh, victorious. Wana wa Israeli waliendelea kushinda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So may God bless you continue to support him. Kwa hiyo Mungu awabariki endeleeni kumuunga mkono. Also I want to give 
tributes or appreciate the servant of God in Dar es Salaam. Ah, pia nataka kutoa shukrani zangu kwa watumishi wa Mungu wa Dar es Salaam. Just to humble themselves. Kwa jinsi walivyojinyikeza. To leave their uh, busy schedules. Kuacha ratiba zao zilizo ngumu au jinga and support uh, Pastor Oswald. Na wakaja kumunga mkono ndugu Oswald. Mungu awabariki. I want to speak into the whole church. Na nataka kuona ongezeko makanisa mwenu. The hand of God shall never leave your tabernacle. Nataka niwanenee ongezeko makanisa mwenu. Mkono wa Mungu usiondoke katika maskani zenu. You shall see a special anointing and a special move in your church. Utaona upako na mjongeo wa kipekee makanisa mwenu. For your humility. Kwa ajili ya unyekevu wenu. This is a sign of humility. Hii ni ishara ya unyekevu. Closing their churches. Wakifunga makanisa yao. Just come here. Ili kuja hapa. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want also to take opportunity. Nataka pia kuchukua nafasi hii to appreciate my my team. Kuishukuru timu yangu. I have a nickname for this team. Nao jina la utani kwa hii timu. Hallelujah. Amen. I call it in our language. Naliita kwa lugha yetu Atif Pondo. Atif Pondo. Fipondo Fipondo Anaita Fipondo What is the English word for Fipondo? Elaborate 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 Well, the fight, the gun of fighters Yani, kundi la wapiganaji Fipondo The gun of fighters Hey, yani kundi yao Tanjima na kusana gengi Gengi la wapiganaji Hallelujah Amen They have vowed to die for Christ. Kula kufa kwa jili ya Christ. To fight demons. Upigana na mapepo. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you. Mungu wa bariki. I was supposed to join him. Nilipasu wa niwenae. But because I had some local programs. Nilipasu wa niwenae vile ya nukima pema. Lakini ya likuwa na. Join him. Alikuwa na kazi za pale kanisa ni kwake lakini alikuwa Kwa sababu hii mikutano ilianzia katika mji wake. Hallelujah. Amen. May the same grace upon him be upon you. Hebu neema ile ile iliyo juu yake iwe juu yenu. Kwa sababu umetupokea. That's why the Bible says Hicho ndicho Biblia inachosema. Kwa sababu sio the prophet in the name of prophet. Aliyempokea nabii kwa sababu ni nabii. Shall have the portion of the prophet. Atapata thawabu ya nabii. So the grace upon all these men. Kwa hiyo neema iliyo juu ya watu hao wote wa Mungu tapits. Hebu mnaweza mkaichota in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Oswe. I don't know if I'm going to preach because my time is running. But I have to say all these things. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Because the family of God is big. Because you know all oh, we are families. We are brothers and sisters. You can make it down. My family in the in black in flesh. My family in flesh. There is a slogan I put in my house. Kuna usemi nimeweka nyumbani kwangu. They know me. Wanajijua. At first, kumara ya kwanza, they blamed me. Walinilaumu that I'm confused. Kama nimechanganyikiwa. I told them. Niliwaambia that our relationship kwamba uhusiano wetu it doesn't matter we carry the same DNA of Kuria. Haijalishi kwamba tuna DNA au tuna V kuna asili ile ile moja vya vinasaba vile vile vya kuria it's temple hivyo ni vya muda it has got where to end Mina, kuna mahali nitaishia when you die utakapokufa and me i die na mimi nitakapokufa we'll never meet again hatakutana tena you cannot believe what i'm behaving kwa kama hutaamini kile nilichoamini <laughs> amen 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 so kwa hiyo when i don't support you wakati nitakapokuwa sikungi mkono think that I'm if usiniwazie kama kwamba ni move no hapana me mimi i treasure something which is eternal natamini zaidi jambo ambalo ni la milele why should i waste my time my resources on the thing which is temporal kwa nini nipoteze muda wangu na 
rasilimali kwa mtu ambaye abidumu so if you want help from me kwa hiyo kama unataka msaada wangu financially or physically ama wa kifedha au wa kijamii au kawaida believe my god mwamini Mungu wangu however i'll be helping you hata hivyo nitakuwa na wasaidia other people kama tu ninavyowasaidia watu wengine because god says love everyone kwa sababu Mungu alisema mpende kila mtu not be helping you as my brother and sister lakini sitakuwa nawasaidia kama ndugu na dada you because i love you and the people sitakuwa nawasaidia kama vile ninavyompenda mtu mwingine i treasure much ninathamini sana brothers and sisters ndugu na dada in the lord ninawathamini sana ndugu na dada katika bwana because when we die kwa sababu hata tutakapokufa tutakuwa pamoja forever and ever milele na milele One day it happened. Siku moja ikatokea. My nephew wanted money of to pay for his college. Mpo wangu akataka pesa kwa ajili ya kulipia chuo. And the brother in the church wanted money to pay for his school. Na ndugu katika kanisa ni kwangu anataka pesa ili alipie shule. Before the free education came into Zambia. Kabla hakujawa na mpango wa elimu bure kwa Zambia. I had limited money. Na mimi nilikuwa na kiasi cha fedha kidogo. I first helped the brother in the church. Nilianza kwenda kumsaidia ndugu kanisani. I tell my niece what that wait. Na nikamwambia yule mpo wangu subiri. You waited until I knew for another money. Na usubiri nitakapopata pesa zingine. I first helped the brother in the Nilimsaidia kwanza ndugu yangu kanisani. Why? Kwa nini? First God. Mungu kwanza. Na watoto wake. Because you can't tell me that you love me. Kwa sababu wewe kuniambia kwamba unanipenda. Alafu unawachukia watoto wangu. Are you sure you love me? Una uhakika unanipenda? I'm saying well, I was what I love you. Nasema ndugu wangu swali ninakupenda. I hate passion. Na ninamtukia passion. I don't love you. Basi simpendi huyu ndugu. If I love him, kama ninampenda, I will love all his children. Na basi nipendi watoto wake wote. If you love God. Kwa hiyo kama unampenda ndugu, love all his children. Penda watoto wake wote. God is the number one. Kama Mungu ni wa kwanza maisha ni mwako na watoto wake lazima wawe wa kwanza lakini haiko hivyo so we are hypocrites kwa hiyo tuko wanafi amen we are hypocrites tuko wanafi we deceive ourselves tunajidanganya when we gather like this tunapokusanyika kama hivi we say brother and sister na sema ndugu na dada when problem comes matatizo yanapokuja your mom dies Your, your mom dies. Mama yako anafariki. Who is not a believer? Ambaye si muamini. You borrow money to go and buy your mom in the village. Na una azima pesa kwenda kumzika mama yako. But your brother in the message dies. Lakini ndugu yako katika ujumbe na to go and attend the funeral. Unashindwa kwenda kuhudhuria mazishi. I have no transport money. Na unasema sina nauli. But your mom. Lakini mama yako. Not believer. Asiami. You borrow. Una azima pesa. I'm not saying that, that that's bad. Si sema kama hilo ni jambo baya. No. Apana. If you can borrow money, kama unaweza kuazima au kukopa pesa, and bury your mom who is a non-believer. Kwenda kumzika mama yako ambaye si muamini. Fanya hivyo pia. In the message. Kwa ndugu yako katika ujumbe. Kwa ndugu yako katika kanisa. If you cannot do that, kama huwezi kufanya hivyo, you will never be a believer. Haujawahi kuwa muamini. Amen. Amen. If you can help your brother, Who is not a believer? Am I still a believer? To support him to attend the higher education. I I end the elimination school. Then in the church, somebody completed school. Now, after that, he's going to come to find Maria Elimu. Failing to go to college. Now, I'm going to go to school. Yet you are supporting your brother. Hata iyo na supporti ni ya kwa believer. Am I still a believer? Am I not a believer? Basi, we are still a believer. What you can do for the brother? Unajua kwa kwa alimu ya kwa 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 k
Kama inaweza kuwa nzito basi damu ya Yesu Kristo nzito zaidi kuliko damu ya kuni kwa sababu nimeokolewa wewe umeokolewa kwa damu ya Yesu yes I'm not fitting yet. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Others can't do it. Do you hear that? Amen. So you see, that's why Christianity is not a nice thing. It's not a child to play. It's not a child to play. It's not a child to play. To become a president of Tanzania, kuwa raisi wa Tanzania, it's easy. Ni raisi that to be a believer. Kuliko kuwa wamilio. A candidate of what? Na kuwa tayiwa wanyakuo, au shiriki wanyakuo. Eternal life is a serious thing. Ujima wa mili jambo lam jambo la kumaanisha. And only serious people. Na ni kwa watu waliomaanisha. Obtains it. Na ni watu waliomaanisha wanafikia hapo. Kwa sababu Sasa wanadiba sema tangu Yohana kubatizaji. Ufalme wa Mungu umeubiriwa. Kwa nguvu. And the fire people. Na wenye nguvu has taken by force. Wanautwa. So it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing. Kwa hiyo sio jambo rahisi. Yes. I always tell the believers. Mara zote nawaambia waaminiwe that the gospel will pop in you. Kwamba injili ya kukupiga piga ya nomination. Iko kule madhehebuni ama ya kubembeleza. Of saying God. Yes, God does not just bless because he want to bless you. Mungu akubariki kwa sababu anataka kukubariki. This is why I don't believe. Hii ndio maana siamini. In the God who heals katika Mungu aponyaye kwa siamini katika Mungu anaweza kuponya lakini hawezi kuokoa kama alikuwa sema mchungaji the devil is the people of the pharisees ah shetani amewadanganya watu the pharisees wa mafarisayo that their god kwa Mungu wao can only heal anaweza tu akawaponya but he cannot forgive their sins lakini hawezi kuwasamehe mizani and they did that na wakaliamini hiyo today has changed it leo amelibadilisha that the god of the religious people kwa Mungu watu wa kidini the god of the denomination Mungu wa madhehebu the god of the end time prophets Mungu wa manabii wa wakati wa mwisho only heal anaweza tu akaponya signs that okay only forgive ama tu anaweza akawasamehe but he cannot heal lakini hawezi kuwaponya God bless you. Amen. Mungu akubariki. One Sunday I stood on in the church. Jumapili moja nilisimama kanisani. And I honed the deacon. Na nikamwambia Shemasi. That from today. Kwamba kuanzia leo. Stop announcing. Acha kutangaza. That system so is sick. Kwamba leo fulani anaumwa. He need the church to pray for him. Anahitaji kanisa limuombe. Stop that nonsense. Acha upuzi huo. If you know that our God heals. Kama anajua Mungu wetu anaponya. The same energy. Nguvu ile ile. The same strength. Oh, ama nguvu ile ile. He used to go and see the doctor. Anaweza kutumia kwenda kumuona daktari. The same strength. Ina kosa ile nguvu ile. He used to come in the presence of God. Anaweza kutumia kuja uponi wa Mungu. So that you can pray for him. is the healer so stop that process i don't want to hear you to say sister so brother so is sick no apart so it's not the healer it's 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 the healer Ama wawaite wazee wa kanisani Kama ameumwa jumamosi And he has no any phone to call the pastor or the church elder. Na hana simi ya kumpigia mchungaji ya mamzeo kanisha. He must run or book a taxi. Lazima chukue taxi. To come early in the morning to church. Aje asubuhi kanisani. And say I'm sick, I need you pastor to pray for me. Na aseme, ninaumwa na umba mchungaji uniombe. Not sending notice. Sio kutumia kiujumbe. That's nonsense. Kwa ni ubuzi. Yes, I can't be on that. Yes, I can't be on that. That's why we don't 
And I discovered that we don't heal. So when I see men of God praying for my patient, my clients, I feel good. They are making my job to be easy because they are supernatural power. Just a treatment. If God 
is not involved. You die. Unakufa. hospital. Without God. You die. Utakufa. The only healer is Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Let me now introduce my message. If I don't finish, I'll finish tomorrow. <laughs> I'll just make a foundation. <laughs> because some of you, you are, going, you are covering a long distance. Sorry to waste most of your time. Which you needed for me to preach, but I was just kidding. Giving you stories. God bless you. We read the scripture in Chronicles. This is the story. This is the story. During the time of David. When he was anointed. I know from Wednesday. Yesterday and today, the man of God has been giving you the word of God. The first preacher on Wednesday, he made a repeat. He laid a foundation to understand the calculation of God. And this calculation of God goes with time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Though God is not in time, but God is not in time. God is not living time. God is outside time. But you and me, like we are in time. So when we are in time, God has made calculations. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So when he preached on Wednesday, first to him, I wish I was the first preacher. I was talking the thing that I prepared. But, however, every day you eat wine. Every day you eat in these. But different preparation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like my brother. Come and They survive in this. But different preparation. But you can cook. Huh? If you want you can cook. Or you can fly. Or roast. 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 Or Banana, I will give you the same taste. Amen. Yes, it's what? It's banana. Yes, the same message. But different taste. Yes. For your health. For your health. Pastor Marasha preached yesterday. Uh, this Marasha science. Is he shall shall follow you. Who believers? Nani, why me you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Mamba was okay. I'm feeling more of a card. He wanted to talk about the rejected king. The Lord took him in a different way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, Leo, there is a new thing. Spoke about battle. The all things about worship. About the church. Based on battle. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you understand this context. You will be careful. You will choose the words to, to speak. When I got this revelation, from that day, 
kuanzia siku hiyo stopped condemning the devil niliacha kumlaumu shetani au kumlaani shetani why kwa nini because he was a devil kwa sababu alikuwa ni shetani because he wanted to be the devil sio kwa sababu alitaka kuwa shetani it was the plan of god ilikuwa ni mpango wa Mungu because this god kwa sababu who is name is Jesus Christ kwa sababu ni Mungu wa majina yake ni Yesu Kristo before he became god kabla hajawa Mungu he was a great eternal spirit alikuwa ni roho mkuu wa dunia milele elohim yule elohim and the word elohim in hebrew na neno elohim katika kiebrania means many of attributes linamaanisha mwenye sifa nyingi in him ndani yake there was light kulikuwa na nuru in him ndani yake there was darkness kulikuwa na giza in him ndani yake mambo yetu smite in him ni shujaa wa vita amina our god is mighty in battle mungu wetu ni shujaa wa vita how can you be mighty in battle when there's no opponent au unawezaje kuwa shujaa wa vita na hakuna unayepigana naye au mshindani wako how can you be a mighty in battle when there's no opponent unawezaje kuwa shujaa na hauna unayepigana naye then is a confused god basi wewe ni mungu aliyechanganyikiwa don't say we confused god lakini si tumiki mungu aliyechanganyikiwa my god Mungu wangu is a normal god. Ni Mungu mwenye akili timamu. He is smart god. Na ana akili sana. Who can never go wrong? Ambaye hawezi kukosea. Who can never lie? Ambaye hawezi kusema uongo. Who can never fail? Ambaye hawezi kushindwa. He is a perfect god. Ni Mungu kamilifu. So in him everything was in him. Kwa hiyo ndani yake kila kitu kilikuwemo. That's why my prophet says. Ndio maana nabii wangu anasema the word of god. Neno la Mungu. God has to a total separation. Lina twiga kwenye ukombozi mkamilifu. Kwa nini? Because our God, kwa sababu Mungu wetu he started separation. Alipoanza ukutenganisha, he totally separated himself. Alijitenga mwenyewe from darkness to light. Alijitenga kikamilifu mwenyewe kutoka kwenye giza na nuru. Yeye yani akawa nuru. Yes. Amen. And that's what Genesis says. Hiyo ndio mwanzo na usemi. Right from the darkness. Ali tenganisha nuru na giza. Kama si je, si vyo? So all the things were in this great eternal spirit. Kwa hiyo mambo haya yote yalikuwa ndani ya hii roho kuu ya milele. I know. Najua that my redeemer is. Kwamba mkombozi wangu yu hai. How can you redeem? Anawezaje kukomboa? If there's nothing that is lost. Kama hakuna kilichopotea. How can you redeem? Anawezaje kukomboa? If there's nothing that is lost. Kama hakuna chini ambacho kipotea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God help. Mungu akusaidie. Those who are babies. Wale ambao ni watoto. I'm not going to stumble you. Si sitawakwaza. But may the Lord help. Lakini Mungu awasaidie. Catch this. Kamati hii. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I preached this message one day in church. Niliubiri ujumbe huu siku moja kanisani. Then one people came to me. Na shemasi mmoja akanifuata. But if that's the case. Akasema kama jambo lenye ndio hili. Then there's no need to repent. Basi hakuna haja ya kutubu. The thing you are confused. Nikamwambia basi umechanganyikiwa. You are the nature of God. Kwa sababu asili ya Mungu is repentance. Ni toba. Amina. Hallelujah. All those ayo yote vitu vyote hivyo whom god predestined ama wote ambao mungu aliwakusudia wote ambao mungu aliwakusudia ama aliwajua aliwajua kibele he predestined aliwakusudia and then he predestined na wote anakusudia kibele he go aliwaita and then that he go na wale aliwaita he justified aliwahesabia haki he justified na wale aliwahesabia haki aliwataka aliwatukuza amen haleluya Amen. So if God has called you, kwa hiyo kama Mungu alikuita, he will give you the ability atakuwekea uwezo to humble yourself. Kwa kujinyenyekeza. That's why pastors don't be wali. Ndio maana wachungaji si hofu. Na repentance. kuhusu toba. People don't repent. Na watu hawatubu. They are not children of God. Sio watoto wa Mungu. Because repentance. Kwa sababu toba only for the children of God. Ni kwa watoto wa Mungu. Because if you are not a child That is impossible. How to ever that go for a child of the devil? For someone in such a position, they cannot repent. If you are not given the given opportunity to repent, I cannot give you a full second to repent. I can give you an example. Let me give you an example. Biblical example. The first born of the devil. Yeah. The first born of 
the devil. Mzali wa kwanza wa Ibilis, Kai. Kai. He was given an opportunity to live. Alipewa fursa atubu. Before he went on killing his brother, kabla hajaenda kumua ndugu yake. He started imagining. Alianza kuwazia. Planning to go and kill Atabel. Akipanga namna ya kwenda kumua. God knows what he did. Mungu anajua anachojua. Even before he speak, anajua hata kabla hajakinena. Wazo lile unaloliwazia Mungu analijua. Mungu alimjua hichi ni cha Kaini anawazia. God went to him. Mungu akamwelea. Why are you upset? Kwa nini umefanya umechanganyikiwa umefanya? Don't do the right thing. Kama umefanya jambo hilo. Don't you think I can accept you? Kama usingekuwa mfanya jambo hilo. That was the second time. Alikuwa amempa nafasi. Don't be upset. Akasema usichanganyikiwe. Don't be jealous of your friend. Usimwelee wivu rafiki yako. Do as your friend has done. Fanya kama yeye aliyofanya. I will accept you. Na mimi nitakukubali. Because in him. Lakini kwa sababu ya yake. No that kind of repentance. Hakuna hiyo tabia ya kujua akaondoka Yes so repent as fast Kwa hiyo only for the children of God Kwa hiyo toba ni kwa ajili tu ya watoto wa Mungu Amen 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 Hallelujah I've stopped the papping people That's why in yesterday it was yesterday Nimeanza kuwea ameleza watu Let me voice it Where I I shook my feet just off my feet and the man I hear sick with juicy, they pick a because they come to me go yah. The end time message. So we do be our own mission. Is the message of judgment. The we do be wahukum. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Dio. You don't know. I'm doing. You know. It started with John the Baptist. Ilianza na Yohana Mbatizaji. You know what about uh, John Baptist only the, 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 the Pharisees? Unajua kile ambacho aliwafanya wa Pharisees. The axe is what? Hey. Shoka do what? <laughs> Shoka limewekwa mtini ili kufanya nini kukata? Ayo. Amen. Amen. So this was the time of uh, David. Kwa hiyo huu ilikuwa ni wakati ya Mungu. After they left Egypt, kwa sababu wana wa Israeli baada ya kuondoka Misri, listen to this. Sikiliza hili. The same God. Mungu yule yule. He gave the Ten Commandments to the children of Israel. Ambaye aliwapa zile amri kumi wana wa Israeli, telling them, anawaambia, thou shall not kill. Usiue. The same God. Huyo huyo, thou shall not kill. Usiue. That is commanding Moses. Lakini anamwamrisha Musa go and possess the land. Nenda ukaitwa ile nchi. And kill everyone in that land. Na muue kila mtu kwenye ile nchi. Spare no one. Msimuache yote. But here, lakini hapa thou shall not. Anaambia usiue. But the other side, lakini upande mwingine kill everyone. Kila uwa kila mmoja. What does that mean? Here, I'm mentioning. Kill no one. See who you are. If it is coming from your own ideas. Kama inatoka kwenye akiliza kwa mnyewe. But if it is God. Lakini kama ni mungu. Who say kill? Anasema uwa. Uwa. Kill. Hallelujah. If it is God. Kama ni mungu. Obey. Kill. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Because God never goes wrong. If He say kill, kill. Yes, sir. 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 Ah, mama mkuwe na mtoto binti wake aliolewa na kijana wake wale mtoto yake take God upon his way kwa hiyo lazima tumchukue Mungu kwa neno lake don't try to cook up yes, to see pk mambo yetu wenyewe and you know one thing na jambo lingine that surprises me linalochangaza most of my relatives wengi wa ndugu zangu from my father's side upande wa baba yangu they are Jehovah's witness ni mashahidi wa Yehova so when i visit them kwa hiyo nakuwatembelea they say no god is the best for god basi wanajua mungu ni mungu wa rehema god cannot kill mungu hawezi kuua i said then you don't understand the bible 
So then God is not a fair God. What? God. Basi Mungu sio Mungu anayetenda haki kwa wote. It is the way you were imagining him. Kama Mungu yuko kama mnavyomfikiria. Because the time the children of Israel were exiting from Egypt. Kwa sababu aliwage wakati wanatoka Israeli here in Tanzania. Hapa Tanzania they were no people. Hakukua na watu. Yeah. Can you please come again? Here in Tanzania. Hapa Tanzania, that time, wakati huo, Moses and Joshua led the people to the promised land. Wakati Musa na Yoshua na wapeleka kwa nchi ya hadi. Here in Tanzania, hapa Tanzania, there were no people. Hakukua na watu. Amen. The first world was only Egypt and Ethiopia going up and down. That side. And the rest of the rest part of the Africa there were no people. Now if truly God can be fair according to the imagination of the Jehovah's Witness. Why it took the people to go and take over the land where there are people. He wanted to prove himself. Alitaka kujithibitisha that I'm the God. Kwamba mimi ni Mungu mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He wanted that attribute. Alitaka kuonyesha hiyo sifa to manifest. Hii jidhirishe. Yes. Yes. So all the battles, all the war that the Jews were fighting. Kwa hizi vita zote ambazo wao walikuwa wakipigana were not their battles. Alikuwa vita zao. It was the battles of God. Ilikuwa ni vita za Mungu. Whatever situation my brother my sister. Hali yoyote ndugu yangu dada yangu. You are passing. Unaipitia if you are a child of God. Kama wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu. There are not your problems. Sio tatizo lako. There are the problem of God. Ni tatizo la Mungu. Now. Oh what you need. Yote unayohitaji just to look up to him. Then he was going to fight the battle for you. Na atakupigania vita zako. That battle you are fighting. Kama hiyo vita unapigana, it is greater because you have seen. Kwa sababu kuja kwa sababu ya kumtenda dhambi. Najua tu nasema come to me. Join kwangu. If my people, kama watu wangu. If my people, unajua anasema kama watu wangu. My name. Wale wengi kwa jina langu. Wanajinyekeza wewe. Na wao from their wicked ways. Na waondokee njia zao mbaya. Na waombe and I shall hear Nami nitasikia kutoka mbinguni alitashuka chini alitaiponya nchi yao If it is caught by the devil kama inazamishwa na ibilisi it is not coming to destroy you haitakuangamiza it is coming to shut down the devil inakuja kumpiga shoti so that the devil can be kept and be shut up ili kwamba ibilisi afunge kinywa unajua kwamba the devil is a noise maker in the ears of god unajua kwamba shetani ni mpiga makelele kwenye mazingira ya mungu is appear in the presence of god anaweza atokea kwenye upo wa mungu say no you see someone because he's preaching you because he's okay acha unaona huyu anakuhubiri kwa sababu yuko vizuri you see the reason why he's busy serving you because he, you bless him acha yuko huku na huku akihubiri kwa sababu unambariki then the devil okay go to him na Mungu anasema mwende mwende kama kuna DNA au vina saba vya Simoni haleluya haleluya then the devil calls you a problem na ndipo ibilisi anakusababishia matatizo has not come to kill you hayo matatizo hayaanza kukuua shut up the enemy when you stand ni kumfua kinywa adui unaposimama on the firm ground of the word of god Unaposimama juu ya ardhi imara ya neno la Mungu, the devil be shut up. Shetani atafunga kinywa. Look to the uh, predicament of Job. Predicament of Job. Angalia yale ma, yale majaribu ya That's why. Ayubu, That's why my brother my sister. Ndio maana ndugu yangu dada. I'm not chasing you from fellowship. Siwafukuzi kwenye ushirika. But I'm trying to help you. Lakini najaribu kuwasaidia. If you come to worship God, kama 
without a revelation you are risking your life you must come to a place where you can have a revelation because John revelation Revelation, you just read in the Bible. When that problem comes on you, you forget about it. You go to the witch daughter. Let me tell you this. The apostle Paul says. For me to live is Christ. Christ. To die Kufa is to die. Hallelujah. Then he went on. But because of you, it's good for me to live. But the most important part of God, he had a deep revelation that to die is to gain. Hallelujah. Sometimes I was in Doha, I was chatting with Pastor Malasha. I feel it's good to just take my life to death. You know, children of God, they admire to die. Because on the other side, it's much better than this life. Yeah. On the other side, it's a good place than the lesser we are sweating. It's a good place than Zambia. There's no better place like that in the world. Hakuna sehemu nzuri hapa duniani kama huko. Kama unapata ufunuo. Ndugu Brown akasema ngapo ya Brazil. To describe that place how good it is. Alikuwa anajaribu kuelezea neno lilikuwa zuri. And that the place we must admire. Alisema we hapaswi tulipende. This is why it is as though you are dying today. Ndio maana hapaswi kuishi kama unakufa leo. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So David he ran out from Saul. And this is where now the Chronicles try to make a censor. And the two of Zadok young men who went to see David to disappoint him so that they can find a battle. The children of Benjamin and the children of Ephraim then in the 32, we find that they were the children of Isaac. These children had the gift. There was a grace upon them to understand the time. They are living in. These were the mathematicians. Like my precious pastor. Like a mathematician. To be able to calculate. We need such people in the church. People can be able to tell us what we're supposed to do. And all these people gathered to David. People with the understanding. To know the time. So what they must do at any given time. We are not going to do that in the Jerusalem. I want to ask you. Do you understand the time we are living in? If you understand, you know what does the church supposed to do now? And if we know, why are we not doing it? 
invalid there are two reasons if the church is failing to do what is supposed to do in this time it could be either we have understood the time or oh, we have rebelled against God But if we rebel against God, there is a final call. God is saying, return back to me. God is return back to me. Return back to me. Amen. Amen. Isaiah says, God of sins. Come and we let us be on together. For your sins are made like scarlet. They shall be white like snow. Though they are made like crimson. They shall be white like wool. Nitakuwa kama sufu nyeupe if only kama tu you are willing uko radhi to obey. Kuti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the children of Issachar, they were men with the understanding. To understand the time. As I'm concluding for today. I'm just going to give the introduction. Tomorrow I'll finish. So that maybe some of you that we are living in. Tomorrow are able to show you from the light of the word of God. And from the message of the prophet. So that you can understand. And to move on on the same page. So that you can begin to upset the tables. Of religion world. Because the time is not over. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. We we'll from this 15. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15. Inasema basi angalieni sana Jinsi mnavyoenda si kama watu wasio na hekima bali kama watu wenye hekima. The Bible says, Biblia inasema See then that you walk circumspectly. Basi angalieni is that you read the same. Ephesians chapter 5 verse Basi angalieni sana jinsi mnavyoenda as not as fools but as wise kama wasio na hekima bali kama watu wenye hekima then is still it went on saying redeeming the time mkiukomboa wakati we call the days are evil kwa maana zamani hizi ni za uovu that's where i'm picking the message hapo ndipo napochukua ujumbe my brother my sister ndugu yangu dada yangu redeeming your time komboa wakati wako redeeming your time komboa wakati wako You know what does it mean to redeem? Inamaanisha nini kukomboa? To redeem kukomboa is to buy back. Ni kurejesha. Yaani kurejesha kwa malipo. Kitu fulani ambacho kiliuzwa something that you have lost. Kitu ambacho ulikipoteza. Maybe by your careless labda kwa kutokuwa mwangalifu maybe somebody caused it to take your TV or your car ama mtu fulani alisababisha akachukua gari lako au pikipiki yako then somebody picked it kisha mtu fulani akachukua special maybe your son labda mtoto wako so to somebody na akamuuzia mtu mwingine then you come back home you find that there's no motorbike where you parked na unarudi nyumbani ukiona hakuna pikipiki pale ulipo iparki then as you are looking around na unapotafuta kuna kule find somebody having it unakuta mtu fulani anaye then you say this is my motorbike na unasema hii pikipiki yangu say no i just bought anasema hapana nilinunua said i'll take you to police anasema mimi nitakupeleka polisi you know me i just bought anasema hapana mimi nimenunua then you push him Police. They police no i just bought anasema hapana nimenunua you know what the police says unasema unajua police anasema to the person that sold you 
Mleta mtu alie kuuzia. If you can be free. Kama unaweza kuwa huyo. Then that person lead you. Na huyo mtu anakupeleka police. Na polisi to your son. Kwa mwanao. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your son na mwanao will be arrested. Atakamatwa. Now just because you don't want your son to be arrested. Sasa kwa sababu unataka mwanao akamatwe. Ask that person who bought your motorbike. Unaomba unazunguza na yule mtu alinunua. He says out here my son sold your car. Unasema mwanangu alikuuzia shilingi ngapi hivi kipiki? Then you take that man. Na unachukua ile fedha. You pay. Unalipa. Unamlipa yule mtu. Make sure that your son. Ili kuhakikisha kwamba mwanao is secured. Yeye anakuwa salama. Asiwekwe ndani. You have redeemed your motorbike. Yeah, Unakuwa umeikomboa pikipiki yako. That's what it means. Hiyo ndio inamaanisha something that you labored for. Kitu fulani ambacho ulikitaka pia na ukakilipia ukaja kukilipia tena gharama nyingine. Hallelujah. So tomorrow, kwa kesho, I'll continue from there. Nitaanzia hapo. My brother, my sister. Ndugu yangu na yangu. The church of the living God. Kanisa la Mungu aliye hai. Let's redeem our time. Hebu tukomboe wakati wetu. Because we have so the time to the world. Kwa sababu mmeuzia ulimwengu wakati. Time is no more. Wakati haupo tena. Why are we waiting for? Tunasubiria nini? The prophet said. Nabii anasema alisema. If there's the end of shortest age. Kama kuna wakati mfupi zaidi. It's the laudikia laudikia church age. Ni wakati wa laudikia. But it doesn't seem to be so. Lakini haionekani kuwa hivyo. Is Abraham a first prophet? Je, Abraham ni nabii wa huko? Hapana. My brother my sister. We have so the time. Tumeuza wakati. We have so the time. Tumeuza wakati. So we need to redeem the time. Kwa tunahitaji kuukomboa wakati. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Pray. Lord. Have mercy upon me. Give me sufficient grace. As you did to the eleven. As you did to the That day when you find them, they are locked in their room. Walipokuwa kule kwenye they were locked up in their room. Walipokuwa wamejifungia kule kwenye chumba. After you explain to them. Baada ya kuelezea you open their understanding. Ukafungua ufahamu wao. To understand the scripture. Kuielewa maandiko. So pray. Kwa hiyo homa. Lord tomorrow. Kwa sababu Mungu kesho. As we are going to hear from you. Tunakwenda kusikia kutoka kwako. You open our understanding. Hebu ufungue ufahamu wetu. Understand the time we are living in. Kuelewa muda tunaoishi ndani yetu. You may be able to redeem the time it was a cool combo that has been so about the use Thank you.